Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to uh, record because, um, well, first of all, I'm a bit bad at it. <laughs> and two, also because it's been uh, really hard to get any kind of footage because we're back into, um, into shutdown mode, I guess you could call it. So um, I've been... Uh, sitting on this footage that's actually legal footage legal footage we were still allowed to uh, train by that time um, but if you can help me by sending me some of your footage and i will be able to comment on them like do this these little videos um and yeah so it, it would be really cool if you could send me by dm or um uh, link in the uh, comment section just so you you link me to your videos i'd be glad to uh, do a video on them and uh, be able to maybe uh, give, give some feedback so it would be would be win-win for both of us i have videos you have comments and uh, suggestions so let's get into this video so I've, i'm going to be rolling with this uh, really strong purple belt we we're going we're rolling nogi as you can see which we don't we're not a nogi specialist and uh, yeah let's get into it perfect so i've been really working on uh, my sitting guard um, as you'll see i'll be i'm really working on uh trying to go to a butterfly ashigarami and uh, straight away sweep sometimes i i work on a bit of a uh, leg locks oops we're off um, but mostly I'm trying to sweep uh, because I'm a guard passer just naturally so I much rather go back to guard passing right here I'm looking to yeah that's it I try to get a hook into his foot I can't put the uh, single X so right away I, I do kind of a X guard sweep so um, he's really good at uh, his name is Alex. Alex really good at um, Kimura, so I'm defending it and right away I'm trying to go into floating pass something else I've been working on because I'm really good at pressure pass uh, knee slice and everything so I've been working on uh, uh, Floating pass, but since I've been starting to work on floating pass um, people have been really like pushing me away, not allowing me to do it. So I've been developing how to go from uh, floating to um, floating to pressure. Here I give my foot because I made a little mistake. He's going to try to, real hard to uh, submit to me, and it's going to be painful. I and my ankle, <laughs> wait, right there. <laughs> so basically, what happened was like. Um, Basically, my foot is, my ankle is really um, inflexible and I don't have, it doesn't really hurt me. Uh, so I, I really push my limits, right? When it comes to uh, all toe hold and stuff like that. Because I'm at that level where I need to know where my limit is for competition's sake. So basically, he really put a lot of pressure onto my ankle. And then at some point it slipped, but just before it slipped, it was painful. So I, I went like, ah! And then uh, he was like, wait, there was a noise. And I was like, hey, don't worry, don't worry. Let's just continue rolling. So yeah, that's basically what happened. So we just go back into it. I just see, try to go back into like kind of a headquarter position. So uh, straddling the leg, try to float past, but see how they keep pushing. He also has a great guillotine. So obviously I'm careful. Try to, yeah, there he goes, straddling the leg, trying to go to, for floating pass. See how he's pushing me away. So he's pushing me away, so I try to accept it and just go back into it. Uh, just so right here, see, I'm just trying to go working on floating pass, but they're really put he's pushing hard with his knee, so just follow the motion and just uh, go sideways into a uh, folding pass back into side control. So, yeah, just working on trying to change angle, follow the follow the motion and uh try to because uh he, alex is really good like a really strong guy technical uh but obviously i have more uh, more experience and everything so i should be able to go with pure technique here i'm just trying to uh, get to his back trying to find a way to get uh 
the, the both hooks or at least one hook and I see his arm so I go directly to a, um, a crucifix right here I'm trying to finish with the straight arm lock from the crucifix but I made a mistake and I had the, the wrong leg hooking the arm so he was able to turn towards me I should have switched legs so hook the arm and then pass it to the other arm uh, to the other leg um, to control and then here I'm sorry we're out of frame a little bit but it's very interesting so basically he was trying to uh, turn into me right because he would he want to escape and want to come on top so basically here we don't really see it well but I'm straightening the arm my arms really far because if he wants to come towards me for example this way and his uh, arm is really far here he won't be able to kind of like lift up right so I was just trying to really uh, be careful about keeping his arm really far away and so you'll see what happens so from here he tries to lift me up and I'm able to just follow into a uh, sweep I guess a camera sweep here um, I'm I'll, if I remember correctly I'm a little bit I, I'm trying to put pressure so he either gives me the arm or his or, or his back that's kind of my go-to see I'm either looking for the arm or the back here it's kind of give me the arm but my my chest connection to his back is slipping away here right there I'm I'm not very I'm, I was very I guess lazy here my I don't I don't pummel my feet I let him slide I'm, I'm thinking of going bulldog choke but then I I'm not able to I try to go back to the back but see how uh, pause see how my chest right here is so disconnected from his back so disconnected and that's uh, really bad I should have uh, gone lower and so he's able to turn back into me and then we scramble up he's he jumps a guillotine and like he has a great guillotine like I said so I, I really need to make sure we defend and here I'm like okay I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired I'll just kind of survive and like wait for an opportunity to escape I'll let him do his thing because it's also a great opportunity for me to kind of um, practice my um, deep escapes so when I'm in a deep uh, deep trouble let's say so here he attacks I obviously I know he's he wants to go for a triangle so I don't want to let his uh, leg go uh, um, under my armpit so I kind of fight off a little bit his leg I'm trying to kind of go deep half I'm not a big deep half guy though and he's able to kind of wrestle my arm away here I'm able to turn he's triangling and then I'm able I'm going to defend and, <laughs> and here is the best way to finish a triangle um, chemical warfare we call it he basically farted <laughs> he farted I was I was about to escape I was about to escape but uh, I think uh, I think that counts as a tap from me um. <laughs> So yeah, that was it. I was just trying to, uh, so basically what I was working on was basically floating pass a uh, sweep from uh, kind of a ashy slash butterfly guard. And then just try, really try to go smooth against somebody that's strong and technical, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I really am trying to um, push myself more into like doing uh Nogi, I think, is going to be more interesting for me going forward. Um, I still really enjoy doing the Gi, but I think that there's more opportunities uh, competition-wise in Nogi. And I did say last time that I wanted to do the ADCC trials. Obviously, uh, right now, uh, the ADCC trials have been uh, report, uh, yeah, reported, no, like uh, delayed, delayed until I don't know how, how long. And then we also have, uh, we can't really go out of the country right now. Um, because of everything that's happening but it is what it is <laughs> so hopefully I'll be back to doing uh, videos more regularly so uh, if you uh, enjoyed please do uh, leave a like follow me uh, please if you have uh, videos uh, that you want me to uh, 
react to or comment over please do send it to me Th these are really the best ways for you to uh support me and uh all right see you next time ciao